What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Buffy the Vampire Slayer in this video here today. So it's been a while since I've done a solo video dedicated directly to this series, but Buffy the Vampire Slayer's paused reboot revival could be pressing play very soon. Keep in mind, Disney never canceled the the plans from 20th Century Fox, but we were told back in 2022 that plans had been paused at the time. Now, Dolly Parton, who produced the Buffy film in 92 with Christy Swanson and the more successful hit show from the late 90s and 2000s, has given us a update. When speaking with Business Insider, Parton said they're still working on that. They're thinking about bringing it back and revamping it. Now, that's a funny word to use, revamping, <laughs> given the show in question, but a promising update nonetheless. Her saying they still are working on that echoes the fact that it, again, was never canceled and just had to, has been a struggling process since his announcement back in 2018. Fox was bought by Disney. Then you had the Joss Whedon drama that started. And now we're stuck in a series of books based on the Buffyverse, some of which are quite good, like Kendara Blake's In Every Generation that focuses on Willow's daughter. That's a slayer and takes place after the events of Chosen. There is this recent Audible reunion between a few familiar, familiar stars like Spike, Cordy, Tara, Anya, all of them return. Then you have Monica Breen's show idea that was associated with the 2018 announcement. That idea probably isn't happening because we haven't heard anything about it since. But people were under the impression we would be getting a black Buffy and they weren't having that because of the fact I, I obviously we know some of the reasons behind it were rooted in that topic of racism that's that's evident that's very evident however I think a lot of fans that study the Buffy verse like a black person like myself we were becoming upset by that proposal because black people are very richly tied to the Slayer line and I will get to that but she tweeted this out back in 2018, Monica Bring That Bean, when there was this backlash to her show possibly being about a black Buffy. She said, for seven seasons, I watched Buffy Summers grow up, find love, kill that love. I watched her fight and struggle and slay. There is only one Buffy, one Xander, one Willow, Giles, Cordelia, Oz, Tara, Kendra, Faith, Spike, Angel. They can't be replaced. Joss Whedon's brilliant and beautiful series can't be replicated. I wouldn't try to. And I've always said, knowing the Slayer line started with black people makes the race swapping tactic a little tone deaf if you were to do it here with Buffy, if you ask me. If someone was to just make Buffy black, when we've seen countless black Slayers alongside Buffy and our first Slayer was black and black men started this, turning Buffy herself black in a new series would be like, okay, why are you doing this? It's clearly just more pandering from Hollywood. It's it's very much more so apparent pandering when you are doing it in a lineage of strong women who the very first woman was already black. So why don't you create another original black slayer? Why do you have to make the white slayer black? It would just come off as pandering in this instance, very much so considering how richly tied black people are to the Slayer and the Slayer line. Just throwing my two cents out there about that whole spiel on how people were concerned about us getting a black Buffy. I don't even really think it was ever framed to be a black Buffy. I could be mis misinterpreting what was said. I think people ran with it. I think what we actually were told was that it would be a person of color in the role and that's it. But going back to just what I would love to see from this reboot. Obviously, do what the comics did. Pick up after Chosen. It can be years later. It can be you exploring the universe that has already been set by the by the uh, ramifications of the events that unfolded in Chosen. You have slayers across the nation, across the globe. Willow's powers channeling the essence of the scythe, activating all the potentials everywhere so that they could stop the, the army of the Turrican that was representing the first evil, the battle at the Hellmouth in 2003, exploring the fallout from that we've only seen like one real implication of this on tv or one type of fallout event of this on tv and that happened on angel with this character named dana who was in a mental institution and yeah that's a bad mix of someone you would want to have activated she was activated i'm assuming while she was in that institution i don't really remember dana's backstory but dana 
has a very dark backstory. She was abused, I think, as a little girl, and she became a slayer while she was in an asylum. They had to start drugging her. She thought Spike was her abuser. If you remember that episode of Angel, you know what I'm talking about. But Dana's the only post-chosen event slayer we've ever seen an actual story dedicated to, unless you want to count those random other slayers that came out at the end of the episode and helped cart her away with Andrew when they told Angel you're not on our side anymore because you represent Wolfram and Hart. But I would love to see a show that dives into the fallout of Chosen. Obviously, you don't have to pick up with Buffy Summers herself. There's no reason to do that. Sarah Michelle Gellar, she can always come back for a cameo. I would just like to see the Buffyverse explored in the same capacity the way Disney likes to explore the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I get that that's their cash cow, but when you're buying notable IPs like Buffy, please play with it. Don't just sit on it. And I get it might be challenging given what's happening with Joss Whedon, but this was a very promising update from Dolly Parton. I hope something comes of it sooner rather than later and we get to know what exactly it is that they're cooking on or working on. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.